this girl is on fire this girl is on fire hi guys welcome to my youtube channel sorry about the intro just because i'm tired of being copyrighted so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do passion twist girl um and this is my client she came from a free referral from one of my customers i'm so excited um yeah so let's get started first i'm just detangling our hair you want to do this gently and one thing i advise is start from the roots uh, start from the tips and then work your way all the way to the roots and i'm just taking my time with this it doesn't have to be perfect just detangle it a bit such that you're able to um now divide or cut the hair once you start plating um i forgot to show you guys i did hair dry our hair because right now it's snowing so everywhere is damn 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 so i blow dried our hair before this and i'm using my shine jam i really love this for cutting and styling my hair because it's really good but i won't recommend this for doing edges because it doesn't hold um just because it has conditioner in it and i want you guys to watch carefully how i cut the hair or divide it or section it so i like to apply the shine jam because it then just packs all the hair into one place and there's no flyaways or anything so you can literally slice the cut like have like a very sharp cut so once i do that i'm just brushing through it and as you can see she's very hairy so i'm taking my time especially at the back to grab as much as i can not affecting like the tiny baby hairs on the side as you can see so it doesn't hurt her so i am using two strands of um this passion twist we got this passion twist off amazon i'm going to leave a link down below to the exact one i used in this video it's super adorable and absolutely you can use this for your um what is it called your full slug so if you want to use that then definitely go ahead and the length is 18 inches as i said it's going to be in the description box and i'm going to braid the hair do like a normal braiding up to the length of my middle finger and then i'll start twisting now the secret to twisting it perfectly is you want to look at the curves on the passion twist itself and just follow that direction most times it's twisted onto like going towards the right side so make sure you follow that that direction if not it's not gonna come out as a twist it's gonna come out as something else so just so you know um i'm cutting the hair again in one of my videos hair videos i have a full um a subscriber who said she wanted a video on how to part so this is for you girl i'm gonna leave a screenshot of her handle on the page uh, on this video so she can see and know that she's the one so the secret is use your shine jam it's gonna cut it's gonna help you in dividing and sectioning the hair like not no man's business and yeah and then you want to cut 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 um because this is i'm doing box braids shape you want to um and box braids is, is square so of course when you do four at the bottom the next one will probably be five and like that you just follow the line and make sure that you're trying to use the same um sizes all through of course it's not going to be perfect that you use the same size all through because we are human but yeah so i'm just showing you guys how i like to prepare my hair i use the two put it between my finger and then put my um third finger in between it just like i did and i'm going to divide the piece of hair into three sections so one for each um that would mean that one section will have two strands of hair so um once you want to start twisting once you are done braiding and you want to start twisting the single parts will come together to form one so you have four strands in total i don't know if you understand but just watch carefully you'd see what i would do so yeah so i joined the other piece to one and then i started twisting um by the time i was almost done with this hairstyle there was something i would recommend so yours would be better so instead of moving that one strand to the other side try to divide take some piece from it and put it on the part that has to already what this would do is that it's going to help prevent that bulge um where 
the braid ends and the twist starts so if if i release the braid you're gonna see that bulge just because we're transitioning to another type of braiding or weaving so of course there's gonna be but to prevent it take a little bit from the the single one and divide it just take that single one divide it into two and that's basically that so this is another clip showing you guys how i prep the hair i just run my thumb through the hair and it scatters like this and of course you can see it's two strands you can see i folded it into two put my middle finger through it and then we now have like three so one is two one one in total of four and that's basically it i'm gonna allow you guys to watch it and i'll just be talking like i'll just come in and say a couple of words if i need to because i'm not going to use any music for this because i don't want to be copyrighted okay and now we're at the front i decided to do the baby hair for the baby hair i love to use gorilla snuff because i find that it's the best it holds the hair into pl in place um unlike the shine jam the shine jam is literally shine jam so after a while it just turns to like hair cream so yeah to make sure that the baby hair is in place make sure to use gorilla snuff that's what i use and i recommend so whatever works for you i know that some people are afraid to use it i don't know why but yeah And by the way, my client is so pretty. She's so pretty. Yes. And when you're braiding it um to make sure that there are no flyaways from a natural hair make sure you take a little bit of the shine jam as you twist or braid so that the hair stays intact and you're able to twist the hair over each other you know so take a little bit of shine jam as you braid or as you twist down and yeah you can see me twisting down and once i get to the bottom i like to braid it all the way to the end and then i take a little bit of shine jam as you would see me do in a bit and once i take that i just rub it on the this thing and just twist it around my finger i'll show you guys in a bit so twist 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 and then just roll it and it stays put um one question that i got was will it untangle if the hair is wet or will it untangle ever because it's a twist the hair stays in place it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to untangle unless you deliberately do that yourself and this hairstyle is a protective hairstyle so um and it's very easy to remove once you're ready you just untwist it basically it's faster than on on losing like normal weaving so this is my customer's favorite part all my customers oil scalp treatment and that's basically that you don't need to dip this water in hot water because it's just going to make it a little bit heavy and because it's crochet it's not heavy at all so you don't need any hot water honestly so i just went in i used my nairobi mousse and i just put it all over the hair just to tame any flyaways and just make it last more longer and give you a more natural look and yeah that's basically it and of course i trim the end um just trim any if there's any strand flying away you know yeah and yeah we're basically done she's just gonna turn around and show you guys her beautiful beautiful hair she loved it and i love it myself i'm gonna be doing something similar on my own self um soon even though my hair is short make sure you look out for that if you enjoyed this video girl give yourself give your girl a subscribe and a like yes. and a share and also a comment let me know what your favorite thing yeah. about this look is and we're just taking pictures you know i'm hyping her she's hyping herself she's feeling herself yes girl get it yeah follow us for more and subscribe to this channel bye